What's up guys, back for another early game build. We're covering two Crimea builds this week. And this time, we're going to be covering Crimea Patriotic. Um, not nearly as unique as Crimea Industrial. Uh, first thing you want to understand when you're Crimea Patriotic in your game is that you are the immediate favorite to win. Um, there's no Rusfay Patriotic, no Rusfay Industrial, which are because you have the Patriotic board, which means that those are the two other combinations of things that might be able to compete with you. This means that your group may choose to ban Rusfay Patri or sorry, Crimea Patriotic in their games, especially if the Crimea Patriotic player knows how to play Crimea Patriotic. Let's show you why. First off, you take a trade action for two food. Now, with the produce action, you're starting to get your workers up and you get your first enlist out. For combat cards, done. So round two, you have your first enlist out, starting very well. <clears throat> Now you trade. Well, since we have our first enlist out and we have two combat cards, we actually only need one food to get our next enlist. This means that we can pick up one steel, which will be useful in just a second. Now we produce, get five workers with the two food and our weakest combat card. We enlist deployment coins and combat strength. Done. So it's round four, we have two enlists out. It's ridiculous already. All right, now we take a trade action because we're two steel short from deploying our first mech. Now we bolster for combat cards because we can use that as a resource and that's the most important thing early game and we get our speed mech done and with that speed mech we get four coins oh my god now next thing on the checklist is move with five workers, we want two on food and three on steel. And we pick up our encounter. Remember, always look at what's beneath here. So if there was an option for like two oil and one popularity up here, we could take it and get an upgrade immediately, which would be very strong. Seeing as there isn't, um, to paying $2 to gain four wood is an option. Um, paying two popularity to enlist is actually completely unnecessary, so we're going to get the four wood. Even though it will be a quick second before we actually um, use the four wood, it will be useful down the line. Now we produce, and with that produce action, we can also enlist. Ridiculous. Um, oil here, oil here. This is a clear sign that we want to get upgrades first. Just like that, we got two pop, two combat power for doing that. In this, so that's where you see we did that. And now we can gain a combat card, spend three steel and a combat card to get our Riverwalk mech where our other mech isn't, and four coins. Oh my god. Produce, 
get our last enlist. And on round 10, we have all four of our enlists. Sorry, but we have round 10, yeah. All right, we no longer need any more food. This means we can move off of the food. We still need steel, though. We need one more produce on steel. So we're going to move our workers off of the food and potentially onto oil or wood. This is a bit of a close decision, pretty much up to you. Um, Different players will prefer different things. I personally will take the forest. I think it's uh, stronger at this point, especially since we have a build in our boot here. And we also get this encounter. $3 for an upgrade is very tempting. But do remember that we could consider this because three oil will allow us to immediately get an upgrade as well. The issue is we don't actually need this food and the third oil doesn't really provide us with anything. So this is basically just better. Now what do we want to upgrade? Well, we're taking this action two more times. So picking up two extra combat cards for doing this is an option for sure. Upgrading our build action is also quite strong. Or sorry, our popularity gain because there's a good chance that we'll reduce the cost of buildings here. But that doesn't change too much so we don't want to do that. So you either want to upgrade combat cards here, or upgrade your movement. I do like upgrading our movement. This will allow us to spread out later on into the game, as well as being able to pick up a, an, a, sorry, a factory card pretty quickly without having to think about losing movement on workers if we want to split them. Uh, though it is close, honestly. What else do we want to upgrade? Building cost. Done. Mostly we're taking that move upgrade because I'm not sure if I'm taking more upgrades this game. Um, we'll cover that in a second. Wait for this to go around all these distractions to be done. Okay. So why did we upgrade the move action? I'm not sure I'm getting another upgrade this game. In fact, there's a very small chance I'm actually getting another upgrade this game. So getting the move upgrade is going to be useful for my late game, if I don't know if I'm getting another upgrade, because it'll allow me to spread faster with my workers. Um, so it won't be as useful as um, combat cards immediately, but we're trading off two combat cards for more points down the line. Now what do we want to do? Well, Getting our next mech online seems like a good option here. Yep. Three steel, one combat card. Get our scout mech out. Do need to produce again. Oh, we got the easiest freaking card to complete in the game. Get rich or cry trying. We got two of the easiest ones to complete in the game. Alright, this is where playing against bots is annoying, because this won't normally come up in your games. At this point, you're looking to take a bolster power action. It's a bit odd, but we do have six combat cards already, 
and that will be enough to support us, and getting the two extra combat power will potentially allow us to get to the star faster. However, since we're playing against bots, if you ever see something like this, take it. I don't give a shit. This is 13 oil. That's insane. It'll allow us to get an immediate upgrade, and it'll allow us to get a ton of resources, which is a ton of points, and will compensate for the fact that we're losing 4 popularity by um, getting us a ton of points on those resources. So, however, we're not going to assume that we're playing against bots, we're playing against real people who won't do stupid shit like this. So we're going to ignore this, despite the fact that this is a clear move and attack this opportunity. So we're assuming that our, the other players are competent in not doing this. So, normally here we would take a bolster power action, deploy a mech, wayfair here, and now we're going to stop the video. Let's take stock of the situation. It's round 14. We have three stars. We have all four of our mechs out. We have all four of our enlists out. We got our four enlists out very early, so we're picking up a bunch of incidental bonuses from whatever our neighbors are doing. We have 24 gold. Let's compare that. Yeah, 17 is already a lot of gold to have at this stage. 24 gold is huge here. <clears throat> What are we going to look for the rest of the game? Well, we could look for buildings. That's an option. It's a bit of a slow option, but it is an option. Odds are we're going to look for combat power, and we're going to look for two combats, especially with three of the five cards in our hand. We can very easily get two combat wings. Which means we'll keep an eye on taking this bolster action, potentially. Um, but do keep in mind you could go for buildings. It's just a bit slow. The building strategy will allow you to get up to tier 2 popularity without trying because of your bolstered popularity for buildings. So it does have its benefits. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's really it. This is Crimea Patriotic. We got a weak encounter as well. Keep that in mind. So it's not like our game was accelerated by this encounter at all. Um, yeah, we have 6 wood considering our build cost 3 or two if we want to use combat cards. Odds are we take one more produce that gives us eight wood. That means we have the resources for all our buildings and we can start spreading. In fact, we don't even have to take a produce action. We can just trade for two more wood and that'll be enough. So we'll get the star here and two combats or we'll get the star with uh, buildings. And if we can upgrade this popularity gain action, we can do that. We'll spread out our workers with move actions later and we'll pick up a ton of territory as well. I hope you guys can see a bit why uh, Patriotic Crimea is so strong. Um, it could be even stronger with certain encounters, which is ridiculous. And even though we're technically behind right now, we actually have more in store, and the only reason we're behind right now is because we haven't hit the next tier of popularity, whereas Rusve got that very quickly somehow. Um, we're only three off, though, and it'll be very easy to get that. And once we get that, we'll be beating him very thoroughly. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys can learn something, and have a nice day.